Hey guys, we are going to do the demo of Flake, which is yet to come out. It's coming soon, and to uh, and 2023, apparently. And this is the demo, so we are doing a demo uh, stream or not stream recording, and we are doing a lot of uh, little demos. So. Let's go for it. But something is weird with the, yeah, with the capturing of the screen for some reason. Wait a minute. How do I do? There's a way to fit it, right? Okay, I think it's fitted now. Fine. So let's do it. Can I use the controller? Yeah, seems like it. Uh, welcome to Providence Oaks. Welcome. Oh, let me see if you can hear me. Yeah. Uh, and thank you for trying out Lake. In this demo, you can play the first couple of days. If you like the demo and decide to buy the game, you can continue where you left off. Have fun, the Lake team. Okay. Oh, so did it came out? Hm, not sure. I think it it was under the coming soon section. But let's start and see. Lake. We're doing a couple, uh, not a couple, a few demos. I've downloaded a few de demos because I want to try a few games and see which one I like. It's nice. I I, I wish all the games had a demo. You can try it out. It's funny how a program designed to help organize your life. And the reason is the reason why I can't be at the Labor Day party. But I'm glad we made the deadline. I wish they would read it out loud. And I'm glad I can now spend two stress-free week, weeks in good old Providence Ox. Week 35? Hello? There it is, Steve. Uh, hope I didn't wake you up. I just came home and was wondering if everything worked out all right. Hi, Steve. Yes, we made the deadline. <clears throat> oh, that's awesome. Uh, I feel so bad you couldn't make it. Hope you guys had a nice Labor Day party. Oh, yes. A Labor I mean, Day party seems... Mike fell in the pool. <laughs> Not oh, very that interesting. Roy got really sick. No, wait. Brian. And then he fell in the pool, too. And... No, Roy. Uh, wait. Ah, well. I'll tell you all about it at work tomorrow more. <laughs> Afternoon. I, I won't what be there for smoke? two weeks, remember? Oh, wait, yeah, but, uh, do you really have to? <clears throat> <clears throat> Two weeks is a lifetime. Yeah, Steve, I really have to. But I will continue testing for at it. Oh, okay, right, awesome. Um, you know, I better get some sleep now. My plane leaves early in the morning. Okay, Meredith, have a wonderful flight. I, I'll talk to you soon. <clears throat> Sorry guys, I'm still uh, problems so with up, Mr. Coleman. my voice. Mr. Coleman, please just call me Frank. We're colleagues now, after all. Well, okay, Frank. Thanks so much for making time for me on Labor Day. No problem, Meredith. Postal workers always have each other's back. Your dad helped me dozens of times whenever I was in a bit of a pickle. Well, I hope I can fill his shoes. He hardly ever missed a day. I'm sure you'll do great. You know what? While we're en route, why don't we deliver some mail in our beautiful little lake town? And show me the ropes? Sure. All right, then. Get ready to roll. Is she is a post... postal woman? Or whatever it's called? There's some bugs in the graphics. This lake, it's always more beautiful than I remember it. I don't think I'll ever get tired of driving around it. And there's our first stop. Okay, sir, what's the plan? Delivering mail is like a walk in the park with mailboxes. Take this bag, walk to the mailbox, and insert the mail. Okay. Seems straightforward enough. 
to walk around. Okay, I'm walking around. Literally, walk to the mailbox. Here, uh, uh, that's the mailbox. Deliver mail. Hmm. Okay, I have to look around. Nice, nice. So that's it. I delivered the mail. Alright. Can you run? She's pretty slow. Nothing too difficult, right? I right. think I should be able to face the challenge. <laughs> I bet. Didn't you go to MIT? <clears throat> yeah. I left here for Massachusetts 22 years ago. Shouldn't you get a job in computers then? That's really booming right now. Well, actually, I'm... Uh... Hold that thought. We just arrived at our next address. It's a package this time, so you'll have to get it out of the back. Is this like a tutorial or just something for me to do to feel like I'm playing and not watching a movie? That's what I'm not sure. Open the hatch. All right. Select a parcel. Hmm. Hmm. That was weird. Okay. And I put it here. Ah, to the front door. Can you run? I don't know. Ring doorbell. All right. I'll leave it on the doorstep. Okay. There you go. Bye bye. Oh, yeah, to walk faster, aren't you? But it doesn't seem like faster, is it? You're getting the hang of it. So, where were we? Computers. Should I buy one? Uh, well, it depends on what you want to use it for. Bookkeeping. I always make a mess of my tax returns. Can't a computer do that for me? Sure, there are programs for that, but you'll still have to put in some work yourself. I was afraid you were going to say that. I'll bug you about it another time. Our next address is right around the corner. <sighs> There's no place like home. Sure isn't. Can't wait to get home either. The Mets are playing the Giants. Oh, before I get out, what time do I start tomorrow? 7 a.m. sharp. Just check in at the post office. Okay, Frank. See you tomorrow. Adios. So I came here to work at the post office. Walk to the front door of the house. Wait a second. Okay. Waste Residence, Monday afternoon, B. Hi, Meredith. I just wanted to let you know that Dad and I landed safely. <sighs> the Florida weather is all they said it would be. I'll call again soon. Oh, oh, oh one more thing. The freezer's stuffed with food and there's blueberry pie in the fridge. Bye. Sounds good. Meredith, it's Steve. I didn't get the chance to say it earlier, but thanks so much for being a trooper. I know you had other plans for Labor Day weekend, but nailing the deadline for added 87 could very well be the most important milestone in our company's history. Enjoy your well-deserved time off. Don't get too used to it. Just kidding. Or am I? Uh, I'll talk to you later. So I came here to my mother, father house to take a break and be the post Good lady. Morning, Meredith. Ready for your first day? Ready to rock. Good morning, Frank. Ready to rock. It's a great day to be on the road. That's time off for her. My truck, God. So you're good to go. Oh, I forgot to tell you. There's a map in the cabin in case you get lost. Thanks, I probably need that. Oh, thanks, I'll probably need that. Bon voyage. Bon bon. Walk to the mail. Oh, so I really have to like deliver the trap, the mail. I didn't get that. Oh my God, it was in the air. RB to open and close the map. Hmm. One bear creek. That's the letter, and that's the parcels. 
Oh. Interesting. Place waypoint. Okay. How do I zoom in? Zoom out. Okay, got it. So if I want to give this waypoint, I'll X that and there we go. Hmm, that's cool. So reset is X, RT to drive, A is to exit. Got it. How do I see the main point the waypoint? Only on the map? Okay. So let's start the drive. Hopefully I'm not going to run anybody off the road. Oh my god. Um, is that where the package should be? That's weird. Okay, okay. That's really close. Okay, so I want to exit. I want to... Uh, What's the first one? This is General Store. How do I know the... How do I know the name of the street? That's parcel. Which parcel? General Store? Hm. That's the post office. General Store. Where is the... I don't know which package is for that. That's parcels. Okay. What's that? Main Street? Ah, oh, so that's the Main Street. 100. Let me move this general store. Okay, I guess... Can I zoom more? Hmm. Let me see... The address here... <coughs> Any address? General store, okay. Um, can I talk to you? Mm, I don't. Okay, let's see if we understand what package we should take. Lake Road. How do I know which one? Hmm. Not sure. Where is the address? I mean, Well, I'll just have to, to try. I need to... Uh, let's try the 200. This is the fastest you can go. That's very, very slow. It's almost undetectable. Okay, let's take the bear. Well, hello there, big cuddly guy. General store. I think this is for you guys. I think I grabbed the wrong package. Hmm. General star? Oh my god. I blocked the whole road. I think I need to move it. Oh! Here we are. That's the street name. Why didn't, didn't I see it before? Okay. It's Main Street. Yeah, Main Street. Uh... Sorry. Sorry. Nobody is uh, honking that nice of them. Okay. Lake Road, Lake Main Street. That's what I need. 
I'll be right back, guys. Oh my god. Why isn't there any fast walking? Like, seriously, fast walking. Here you are, talk. Can I help you? Hello, here's today's mail. Mm, new in town. Your face looks familiar. Well, I grew up here and then left for college 22 years ago. <sighs> 22 years ago. And now I'm a post lady. Nancy Sinatra instead of Nancy Reagan. So now you're back, huh? I know what it's like. I'm just here on the vacation, doing the post. Actually, this is only temporary. <sighs> That's what I said too, a long time ago. She looked like Ross Stewart. It's, rain today. it's been raining a lot lately. Okay, bye-bye. Good to talk to you about the rain. Oh no. Oh no, look at this. Oh my god, okay, we need to move. Guys, we need to move. But we have another package here, right? Very, very, what's that one? Okay, Main Street. Okay, that's our main point. Enter. That's actually right here, right? Let's park here. This time. Let's get out. Let's take that. Uh, ah, that's only the parcels. Oops. Nope. I don't need anything to give. Um... The letter too. I remember this is the old Sugarman place, but the envelope says McGill. Must have moved away. Okay, now. Is there a time here? Um yeah, let me remove that. What's that? That's Main Street. Uh where this is one parcel. We have a lot here, let's go there. This is... Okay, yeah. Okay. I keep pressing B to back up. Um, I'm actually enjoying this. Yeah, it's not... It's kind of nice, but it would be nice if you be, like, walking faster. Okay. It's kind of hard to see where you're. Ah, the mighty Ambrose River. Okay, uh, 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 stop it. How do I stop? Oh my god, oh my god. Stop. I need to stop. Oh, what's that? Okay, that's like my calendar. Hmm. How do I stop? Maybe. Ah, okay, that's backing up. Okay. So let's get out. The first thing I need here is 102. Deliver mail. And I have a parcel for this one. What's that? Uh, come on. 200 Lake Road. Okay. Well, hello there, big cuddly guy. That's 104, where is it? that where I need to be 
Where are the street signs? I'm not sure. No, I'm not where I'm supposed to be. I'm supposed to be here. Okay. This is this how they think. Look at the cat! The cute cat! Okay. Here it is. Hi, Katty. Oh, there's another one. Oh, so cutie. Yeah. Oh, look, Genevieve. A new mailman. Hello there. Male woman. What's your name then? I'm married. I miss Jenks, right? I'm Meredith. Meredith White. Hi, Miss Jenkins, right? I'm Meredith. Meredith Weiss? Weiss, of course! You're Emily's girl, aren't you? This is Meryl Weiss, Genevieve. She used to live in town years and years ago. Twenty-two years, to be exact, but who's counting? <laughs> Has it been that long? That's almost oh, two Genevieves ago. Hmm? Calm down, Genevieve. You're going to live forever. She isn't, but... Shh. You do remember me, don't you? How could I forget Miss Mildred? How could I forget Miss Mildred Jenkins? And her cats, of course. Seems like they've multiplied. Yes, I do like cats. Is that such a crime? So what if I have slightly more of them than I used to? Like Genevieve here? And Thomas and Oliver. Anyway, did you have nothing a for wrong me then? with that at all? Yes, ma'am. I think it's a toy bear. Yes, ma'am. I think it's a toy bear. I mean, it's shaped like one and feels plushy. Someone must think you need another animal in your life. Hmm. Bit of a nosy posy, aren't you? I know Frank would never feel up the packages. I mean, I have to take it out of the van, and I have eyes. Yes. I mean, I have to take it out of the van, and I have eyes. Hmm. Well, it's probably another gift from my son. Good for Still you. Still doing everything to get into my good graces, except actually drop by. Well, anyway, I got around. You didn't want me to get nose, so don't tell me anything about your little son. Well, anyway, gotta run. Exactly. Run along, dear. Give Emily my best. Goodbye, Miss Jenkins. Bye. Genevieve. <coughs> okay, let's go. Where did I let my... Will you? Run. This is like the fast walking, and this is without the fast walking. Can you believe it? Why can why didn't she do a running like or a very very fast walking? I mean this is practically no difference. Okay, bye. Let's get in. So next stop right here. I won't even need that map. Why is she doing the post mail? I have no idea. Actually. Okay, let's do this. Let's, let's stop here. Oh! I can... Uh, I can honk my honk. Uh, this is 300 Lake Road. Ah, it's written. Down, down there in the, near the... That's lighter than I thought. You already know that. Let me deliver that. Um, I cannot. It can get in here, right? 
No, so why can't I not get in here? Maybe give it to her. Hi there. I've got some mail for this address. You're not Frank. I'm Meredith Weiss. I'll be delivering your mail for a while. And Frank just gave you the keys to the goose? The goose? Yes, your white and wobbly van, duh. I'm Lori, I'm Providence Oaks mechanic. And I'm the one who keeps the goose running. Well, Thomas is my father, does that count? Aren't you a little young to be a mechanic? Well, Thomas is my father. Does that count? Thomas! Yes, that surely counts. My father has been teaching me since the day I was born. There is no one better in P.O. than me. And I have to get back to work now. But I suppose you may drive the goose. On one condition. Who is asking you? If there's ever you? anything wrong with it, you bring it back to me, yes? Well, I don't have much of a choice, do I? All right, all right, I promise. All right, all right, I promise. Good, perfect. Uh, did Frank tell you about the radio? No. It currently only receives the local station. Plus, sometimes it cuts out altogether. If that happens, just give it a big old bang on the dashboard and that should fix it right up. I'm working on it, I promise. Okay, thanks. Okay, thanks, Lori. No problem, Miss W. I'm not sure what the difference between the options of the conversation. It seems like it's, it doesn't matter at all. Um... Alrighty then, let's just try the way. Oh my god, I'm doing slalom. I'm a bit wibbly. Why to toggle the radio? Ah, that's not working. So, how do I get there? How do I get service station? That's where I uh, Okay, I need to do the right there. Okay. To bear freak. Gotcha. So I pressed Y, but nothing is happening. Ah. Let me think. Where was Bear Creek again? Right here. You don't need to think when you get a map. Right? Ah! Oops. Oh, right. Bear Creek, near the old lumber yard. Think here. Is where we need to go. There's a new face. A rare sight for secluded lumberjack. Yes, indeed. As of today, I'll be delivering the mail. Yes, indeed. As of today. I'll be delivering the mail. Great. I'm Robert. Nice to meet you. Likewise. I'm Meredith. And here's your mail. Thanks. I'd better open this right away. Why? Oh, what the... That doesn't sound good. Crap. That's what it sounds like. Bullcrap. Freshly baked bullcrap. Hey, the sound can't be worse than the smell. I'm sorry, but I have to take a better look at this. Have a nice day. Okay. I thought you wanted to talk about it, but I guess you don't. Get in. Now we need to somehow get out of here, yeah? No. 
Okay, now wait a second. What do we need to do now? Woods. What's that? Let's get rid of it. Okay, so we can do left here all the way there. Hmm. I don't see how that helps me in any way, like the waypoint. It's just. It's not helping. I can see the parcel logo. So I don't see how it helps me in any way. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh my god. So we are doing all around the lake. I can't see what's in front of me. It's like a driving uh, simulator or whatever. Like listen to music, seeing views and just driving, right? I like it. It's kind of relaxing. This is close to where I had my first kiss. So it's right to me, the address is on the right, like, near the map, huh? It seems like, it seems like I got slower. It's not as fast as, it doesn't go as fast as it was in the beginning. For some reason. I wonder what would happen when I, like, crushed because it, it's uh, going to happen at some point, I'm sure. Oh, now it's faster. Okay, maybe it depends on the road I'm going on. If it's small road or dirt road or whatever. Maybe the speed uh, limit is affecting how I'm driving. Maybe. Okay, I'm here. Moe's Diner. I think this is the place. Meredith Wise? As I live and breathe. Come here, hon. Uh, now, let me look at you. My, oh my. A few lines here and there. And the occasional gray hair. But my gosh, it's you, all right. Wow, Maureen. Long time no see. I feel so old. Oh, don't be like that now. It suits you. Age only makes a person more distinguished, is what I always say. To the mirror. Now come here. Tell me everything. Okay, one quick drink then. I actually finished I my job. On. Little Bird told me all about your temporary mail job already. News goes around pretty quickly around here. Apparently. So, coffee? Something stronger? I warn you, I will not take no for an answer. Mm, coffee sounds coffee good, sounds thanks. Good. Thanks. Two coffee, coming right up. And one piece of blueberry pie. If they I really like blueberry pies here. Yeah. had one almost every afternoon after school at one point. Mm. 
You know me too well. You know me too well, Maureen. Always have, always will. Ashley, one blueberry pie. And Ashley, uh, could you keep an eye on the bar for me for a bit? I'm going to take my break now. You're a real trooper. It sounds like a man. Ashley? Oh, sweet Mary. What are you doing? Uh, is everything okay, hon? Maybe you should go there? Oh, Lord have mercy. Maybe. Maybe you should check that out. Honestly! First the roof and now this? Ugh, that poor kid is like a disaster magnet. I'm sorry, Meredith. Looks like I've got my hands full for a bit. Next time, I want to hear everything, you hear? Uh, don't be a stranger now. Okay, now I need to return to the post office and that is it. First day done. Where, where is the post office? Oh no, it's the other way. Almost no cars. Oh my god, where am I going? That's the post office. What's that? That's the wood. I'm going the wrong way. I needed to go here. To the right. Not good. Okay. Let's you turn. Okay, I need to go on the little road to the right. Right here. I need to watch for deers. Now what? Oh, I need to... Okay, let's do right to the next one. Oh my god. No. Okay, that's the post office. Is it not the post office? Oh, there? Oh, okay. Maybe I should take the car.
Ouais. End work day? Ah, oh, ok. Ok. That's a real slow paced, right? Away is residence, Tuesday evening. Fun ring. Where is the dog of the dog Hello? house? Hi, Meredith. It's mom. How are you? How's the job? Hi, mom. I'm doing great. Hi, mom. I'm all right. The job is okay. Hi, mom. I'm doing great. It's the same it's answer. So I don't know. to be outside and drive around. Oh, that's great to hear. Dad says it's strange not having to drive the truck anymore. I can imagine that. How is dad? So she's just feeling for a dad. It must be strange for you as well. How are you doing? I can imagine that. How is dad? Can he handle all this freedom? Ugh, don't get me started. He went on two fishing boat trips already. And then there's the late night poker with his new buddies. Oh, I'm almost out of coins. I'm calling from a bar and dad's ordering a margarita again. <laughs> Talk soon. At least the conversation are short. They're not very interesting, but they are at least they're short. Stay home and watch TV. Stay home and read a book. Let's watch TV. Let's see what's on TV tonight. Previously on Bon Appetit. Has anyone seen Henri? Yeah, he's in the kitchen, unpacking the new tableware. Mm. Henri! Did someone call me? Okay, let's do this. Good morning, Providence Oaks. We're starting the day as we always do. With um. P.O. Positive or pet feed, followed by the weather. P.O. Positive. So I have a few very close. Why is it moving so slow? I'm not sure. Okay. Um. Or pet feed. Dale, what's it gonna be? Oh my God. It's a positive all the way, Jack. Why is I it so? Yesterday, and I don't think I've ever had blueberry pie Black. that tasted so good. It's dark, Thank right? Thank you much, Dale. That makes me want to get a piece right now. But the weather's first. We'll start off sunny with a few clouds later today. How about some music now? Okay, I need to do right. There's a lot over there. There's not any uh, traffic uh, lights here, is it? Okay, so we have two, two here. One is the two o seven. And one is the 205. Hmm. Nice. Same handwriting as the one I delivered next door. I'm guessing party invitations? She is really nosy, huh? <coughs> okay. So we have a parcel over here. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh. 
parcel is on the back. Main Street. This Main Street. That's lighter than I thought. The Flick Snack. Hi there. Is that yours? Welcome to the Flick Shack. How can I help you? Got a package for you, ma'am. Hold on. You're our new postal worker? Talk about not looking the part. <laughs> is that a compliment? Trust me, it definitely is. Well, thank you then. <laughs> Name's Meredith, by the way. Meredith Weiss. Angie, Eastman. So, what brings you to Providence Oaks? I used to live here, then I didn't, and now I'm back. Oh, grew up here, and now I'm back to do my dad a favor. Ah, I myself have been here for six years. And what brings you here? didn't grow up here came to do myself a favor touche mrs eastman miss so your dream was to rent out videotapes so your dream was to rent out videotapes not a dream per se more like a vision <laughs> figured in a sleepy town like this people don't have much to do anyways might as well watch a flick right Yes, certainly I have a lot of them. Well, other than enjoy the scenery. Well, other than enjoy the scenery. Scenery, schmeery. Why stare at a boring lake when you can go to outer space and watch the Death Star get blown up? Hmm, maybe I should watch more movies. Well, it was nice meeting you, Miss Eastman. Uh, call me Angie. So I'm and just... Here, someone just returned this, and it should be right up your alley. The postman always rings twice. Little on the nose, don't you think? My kind of humor. <laughs> My kind of humor. Well, I don't know anything else about you, Mrs. Temporary Postal Worker. <laughs> Miss. But touche, Angie. All right, I'll check out if I have the time. I probably won't get. All right. I'll check it out if I have the time. Take your time. This isn't exactly I wonder the most popular if... flick in the shack. And there's plenty of choice, regardless. Okay. Well, it was nice meeting you, Miss Angie. So I'm just Same going here, around Ms. and just doing small talk with the people I deliver. Like, what's the main story? That's what I'm trying to... Is there a mystery at some point? Is there, like, a story to tell with a beginning ending? What do you think? I mean, not sure that at this point. I'm just driving like a drunk woman right now. Okay, how do I look at my... Oh, okay. This way. So we're at the e Third Street. Okay. Um, 104. Alright. What's a reset? Like, starting the whole day? Like, if I press by mistake reset, it, I, I will just start over the, f the whole day. It's terrible. Maybe I should have taken the parcel and already give it the parcel. Right? It's just over there. Now I need to go all the way back. Um, but it doesn't seem like Pine Street. Oh, that's where I am. It's or to Pine Street. Okay. Here we are. A 
that's lighter than I thought. That's every every time that's all she has to say about every parcel. Maybe she needs to check herself why is it she believes all the parcel is going to be so heavy. Commander Grace, we have established communication with ground control. How do you wish to proceed? Tell them we landed in the rocket. Ground control, we have landed the rocket. We will now begin our experiments. Um, package for the Evans family? Just a minute. Commander Grace, permission to explore? Permission granted. Yep, we're the Evans family. Could I just take that real quick? I'm kind of in the middle of a lunar landing. Yes. yes. Here you go. Nice helmet, by the way. Why, thank you. I actually modeled it on the Apollo 11 crew outfit. Wait, what? Meredith? Guilty as charged. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. Who are you? What? For real? You don't recognize your old best friend when you see her? Wait a minute. Kay? Great. And now I busted my colander. I knew opening the door in this thing was a bad idea. I'm sorry. I didn't recognize you with the colander thing. The helmet. Yeah, clearly. But it seems I'm not the only one who came in disguise. Got me there. You've lived in Providence Oaks all this time? Don't sound so surprised. But yes, I married Barry. Evans, I'm sure you remember our high school star and quarterback. Mom! Be right there, Commander Grace! Scanning for alien life forms. That's my little scientist back there. She's crazy about space travel, as you may have guessed, even after the whole Challenger thing. Sounds like you're doing great. I'm happy for you. Well, obviously a lot can happen in 22 years, so. I guess so. So, I heard you were back in town for a while, from Maureen. That's right. I ran into her yesterday at the diner. Your Uncle Stan wasn't there, unfortunately. I must have just missed him. He nope. died. It's Moe's diner now. Like I said, a lot of things happened while you I have, also, like, I work there now. a color, uh, like someone is coloring outside and I have a bad smell, like, chemical smell. I have to check that for a second, one second, guy. I don't know what they are doing over there. What do you say so far? It's a, a little, a very relaxed, right? It's a bit too relaxed, I think. I need the more story, more meat to the story. Taking over the family business. Ah, that's great. Maybe I'll draw by some. Bye. I don't Maybe care about this sometime. conversation. I mean, yeah. It's a bit boring. Ready for a liftoff. Listen, Shit. I'm sorry, but I don't really have time for this right now. Can't get stuck on the moon on my own. And I have to get ready for work. Bye. We want to go. Let's see you around. Go. Then. Good to see you, Kay. Evans! <laughs> Commander Grace, hold up! You'll never guess what I just found. You can say that again. The way she acted when I said that I maybe I will drop by sometime and she said, Uh, yeah, maybe. Mm. No, she doesn't want you to drop. To drop in or anything. Um, now we need to go over here. So, back. What's that? Why is it so slow? More diner. That's where we've been before. Okay, we're doing a good job, right? We're like very fast. Where is the other parcel? There is another part. Oh my god, it's all the way over there. Okay, so let's go back to the main road and then we'll do left and all the way over there. Okay. Maybe she was in love with this photo bar guy. And he was her boyfriend at some point. 
I am not sure why it was so bizarre conversation, like very uncomfortable conversation, it seems. Okay, up to the end and then right. <coughs> That's the 100, yeah, Main Street. Hey, Mom and Dad have new neighbors. Siegler, huh? Don't think they ever mentioned them. That's my house, huh? Like my parents' house where I'm staying. Jenkins? It's poor little Mortimer. He's fallen ill, I think. One minute he was full of life, the next he, well, he just wasn't. Don't you want to call ambulance? Or not ambulance, but someone? I mean, I'm not a vet, but he looks fine to me. He's almost catatonic? What? How, how do I know? I didn't see him. He's almost catato- Sorry. Heard it when I said it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Please, Meredith, be a dear and take poor Mortimer to Mr. Mackey. He runs the bait shop by the lake. He'll know what to do. Sure. Sure. I'll get right on it. Here, little kitty. Come on. Wonderful. Be nice to Meredith, Mortimer. Don't shed too much hair in her van now. Bye, Miss Jenkins. Bye, Meredith. See you soon, Mortimer. Mm, can I leave? No. Okay. Um, it's all the way back here, but I have one more delivery over here. Let's just do it very fast. I hope it's not... ...going to kill the cat or something. Here it is. Very fast. Let's do it. I can't do anything until I do that. Oh my god, but I'm just here. I don't get it. Okay, let's do it then. What's the best way to do? Like going left and left. Okay.
Mm-hmm. Get in there. Bait tackle and bow hunter? How is that? How can he help with the cat? He's not a vet, right? Hello there. Mr. Mackey, I know you're close, but... What? I'm Meredith Weiss. Yeah, yeah, Meredith Weiss. Thomas kid. I remember you running around the lake when you were yay high, getting into all sorts of trouble. What can I do you for? Mildred Jenkins tells me you know a lot about animals, and, well... Oh, hi there, little <coughs> fellow. What's your name? Apparently it's Mortimer. Well, pleased to meet you, Mort. Hmm, he's a little sluggish. Has Millie been feeding him cupcakes again? To be honest, I have no idea. <sighs> Leave him with me. I'll put him on a diet today. Maybe even catch him a fish if they're biting. With any luck, he should be up and running in the morning. Sounds good. Sure thing. Goodbye, Miss Weiss. Okay. Bye, Mr. Mackey. Bye, Mortimer. <laughs> I'm like, maybe it's beginning slightly slow, but I'm like, at some point there will be some kind of a storyline. No? I'm just only doing airing, which I like actually, the part of the airing, but... But... It's supposed to be like, paired with a story, I guess? Otherwise, what's the point? Just getting from here to there and delivering packages. The sound of the car, I don't like the sound of the car. Something wrong with the car, don't you think? Um, yeah, I need to, oh my god, my god, my god, my god. Yes, did it. Now, uh, where is the... Oh my god, I'm going the wrong... No, it's okay, I'm going the right way. It's right there in the middle. to think our Spanner Dam was just as big and famous as Hoover Dam. Then I visited Hoover Dam. We are... I'm 
guess it's here. Oh my god. Sir, parcel for you. Hello? Anyone home? It's the mail. One minute, I'm busy. If you could just accept the parcel and let me be on my way. Just leave it there. Is that a parcel for me? Yes, sir. Oregon Trail Motel. You can just put it on the counter. Yeah, exactly. All right, have a nice day. Okay, so what do we have? That's it, last, last letter. All the way back. Oh, almost got into an accident. Uh, wait a minute, do I need to do a left or a right? Let me see. Uh, a left. A left will be better. Oops. He like doesn't care that I just hit him. It's okay. I wonder if that makes my car run worse and worse. Like I wish there was like a percent of damage to the car and you can take it to the to the mechanic. To make it run better and it costs money and like a money system you know uh, and you get money for your work although it should be on the you know on the post office oh my god on the post office like uh, bill right it's not shouldn't come out of my own It feels like it's worse. I don't know if I, like it's driving worse. I don't know if it's my own, like if, if it's true or not. Oh, that was very, very close. Okay, here. Let me not uh, miss the turning. It's here. I'm calling it a day. Yep. Uh, set two. I think we're almost done with the demo because it said that it will be only the few days. So here I need to do right, okay, and then get to the main road. And then at some point I need to turn left off the main road there, off the lake circle. 
Come on, turn. It's like it's harder. I feel it's harder. I don't know. Yes, please. Uh, yes. Okay, and at some point I need to do a left maybe there. Let me see. Yes. Yes. This is... Oh, 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 oh my god. Almost missed that. Good. Now. My god, it really is very noisy and not in a good shape, I think. It doesn't feel in a good shape as we started with. Is that the post office? It sure is. Oh, the red girl here. Always passing the road. Okay, so what are we going to do tonight? Watch the movie uh, The Postman Never Rings Twice or whatever? Meredith, hi! Oh, hi Steve. How are you? Busy as two peas. Added 87 is really getting there. Hey, listen, you got plenty of time, right? Yeah, there's not much to do around here. Awesome, I need a favor. I sent a bunch of files your way. It's the retail pitch for Added 87. It's good, but not great. It needs your magic. Do you think you can add it? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Steve. When will the files arrive, and when do you need the feedback? Ah, oh, well, it should arrive tomorrow, and I need it yesterday. I could just send it to your post office, right? Yep, can't miss. Awesome. Mail back to me as soon as possible. Priority mail. Thanks Is so there no I email? Okay, Steve. Back then. Oh, one final thing. Now let this marinate. <clears throat> add it, 87. Add anything you like. It's fancy, right? Yeah, don't, don't, don't tell me now. Uh, I got a jet. Bye. <sighs> so, she need to work. Turn on TV. Okay, let's see. The postman always right. rang twice. Well, let's it's watch four? This. Hopefully not. She's a pretty boring lady, isn't she? Tell this and the it. Okay, I think this oh, will be the special. last day. And a note from Tess. <clears throat> hey, Em. Hope you're doing well. Steve told me you'd want to read through this monstrosity. Not sure if you really said that, but have a great time there anyways. Take care. <coughs> okay. Okay, guys, I think we got the hang of things. Let's save just in case we feel a need to try that again. And it's a bit on the very too too low. Not a lot of story for now, for me. But you know, it was nice to do the post office thing, but it just wasn't enough. If there was like a story and... I don't know. Well, let's see the next demo and we'll see if we'll get ever get back to that. So, next, next demo.